Welcome to the Rose Rundown, where I give the rundown on movie, TV, and music. Today, we're going to talk about Everybody Hates Chris. I'm going to be ranking the four seasons. If y'all did not know, Everybody Hates Chris is getting an animated show on Comedy Central coming on on September 25th. Um, a show that I want to review is Agatha. It was Agatha all along. Because I was watching WandaVision. I was like, she should get a spinoff. Because, you know, like, what she did was I need to rewatch WandaVision. But, um, yeah, like... I might review the show, so y'all look out for that. But anyways, we're going to worst to best. Everybody hates Chris, as I just said. We're going to get into it. So the season that I have in fourth place is season three. And it's only specifically for one reason, for real. Because the whole show was good. But like when I saw Chris Rock on camera, it kind of annoyed me. Like him trying to help himself. It was kind of like... Tyler, like, Tyler playing Chris with his foreign self. And, like, I kind of, it just threw me off. Because, like, he's the narrator of the show, okay? Like, we should not be seeing the narrator of the show on the show. Like, it's already enough that we hear your voice every episode. Which I love his narrating. He does amazing. But at the same time, I don't want to see you in the show. Unless you're going to play yourself. Which wouldn't make sense. Um... Love, uh, one episode I did not particularly like is season three, episode 20. Like, they was talking crap about Chris. And the whole time, like, you see the, the bully, forget his name right now, is always saying, like, Blackie or this, that, and a third. Like, I don't like that crap. I don't like that. Um, love seeing his brother Tony, Tony Rock, actually appeared on the show. I think that was season three or season four. It was season three. It was season three. He appeared on there. Something about a car, something less seeing him because I had just re finished re watching all of us. So if y'all don't know, y'all don't know. But um, the, the I'll, I'll give the season like a six, it wasn't bad, it wasn't a bad season. All right, and in third place is season four. The show actually ended because Chris Rock thought that it would be time for the show to like wrap itself up. And by the way, like his um teenage years was actually set and let me see what it had said okay so the show ended in 2009 uh rock announced that the series ending suited his own past and he felt like it was time to end the story also we learned that his adolescence actually really took place in the 70s, like 1978 to 1984, instead of what is featured, featured on the show in 1982 to 1987, in case anybody didn't know that. So back to season four, um, I'm going to have to give it a seven. Uh, we, we got to see Chris like get his license. We get to see his sister and his brother. By the way, all the kids in the show... Even though they were playing like the sister was the youngest and then Taekwon, whatever his name is, uh, his brother was the middle child. In real life, they're all 31. Like me. Like they're all 31. So I thought I would throw that in there. It's interesting. But um, yeah, I'll definitely give season four a like seven because this is when you could tell like, okay, the show needed to end. Um, some parts weren't that exciting to watch. I loved watching Pam and uh like Tashina and Tisha you know these two they're best friends in real life still best friends to this day and anytime I get to see them play off each other in whatever show they're in I just love it love that she was in there uh Tisha was in there as Peaches and you know Tashina was like the main female lead you know um the next one I'll give that one a seven as I just said um the next one is season two. Something else I loved about the whole series and that you got to see um, if you know what's happening, right? Ernest Thomas, you, you'll see him a lot in the in the show uh, as well. I loved his recurring character. And then you see Todd Bridges, you know, from him from different strokes. And, you know, you get to see a lot of these different... You get to see JJ from um, Good Times. He was in there as well. He played, like, Chris's grandfather and died, you know, on the show. But, um, yeah, season two, I'll give it, like, an eight. Man, eight. Like, it was a good season. And then season one 
will give it a nine. Like episode 10 frustrated me. I couldn't stand the bully in the show the whole time. And then we get to see him being in high school with him and he still hasn't changed. Like I guess in that time people were just really racist. <laughs> really racist. But um but overall I love the season. They had some really great guest stars such as JJ from Good Times and from what's happening, Mr. Thomas, you know. Um uh, yeah, good guest stars. Love the show. Going to have to give it a seven. Only because there are so many like and I guess that's what happened in Chris Rock's time. Well, I guess if you change some stuff around, that's what happened. But anyways, have you seen the show? Are you going to re watch the reboot? By the way, Tyler James Williams will not be back. Um, the girl who played the sister, Imani, won't be back. And Taekwon will not be back. They're, they're getting all new people. The only people who are coming back for that animated reboot are Tashina Arnold and Terry Crews. When he was flying to the watch as well. But um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want me to watch the best more shows, characters, or music, let me know. Put in the comment section and I will see y'all. Y'all can check out my social medias, which I'm going to start putting them in the description. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye!